Bill Mary, Hulk Hogan, Seth Rogen, Joe Rogan. Marrying Seth Rogen. Correct. Correct. Hulk Hogan. Joe. Oh! Yeah. Go on. Wow. Torn between, though. I'm kind of torn between marrying Joe and Seth because Joe mm. has a pretty interesting wife, but mm-hmm. I don't think I could deal with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just a little too... I feel like it would just be a little too competitive. Seth seems... Like he could chill for like the li- for life. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Joe seems like an over explainer. Like you'd like, be putting on the turning on the sink. He's like, actually, if you, you uh, know, use uh, your non dominant hand to turn on the sink. I feel like he would be like checking every, up on yeah. his wife's like biohacking at the end of the day. Like, babe, how many times did you plunge today? <laughs> yeah, like, that's right. It's not your business. <laughs> it's not your business how many times I plunge. <laughs> not. Are you sure you want to post that? It's going to be online forever. Okay, good afternoon, good night, good morning, good evening. Hello and welcome to this conversation. We have the I'm so sorry. Hilarious. My the bottom of my foot started itching so bad. <laughs> socks are out. I, socks are as soon as we started talking, as soon as you started talking, my foot started itching. So we're oh going to have that effect on people. <laughs> I watching your nails itch your socked foot. I'm yeah, no better than a man. <laughs> it's, it was really fucking satisfying. <laughs> Could have been a little slower for me. That would have been my only request. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to catch a whiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, it's not good. <laughs> we have a hilarious comedian here, Gabby Lamb. Hey. Hi. What's up, hey, girl? girlies? Hello. Hey. I feel like I've met you because I've stalked you so much, honestly. Isn't it funny how that is the thing with social media? It's like nothing is sacred and we all know each other by being- By putting me alone. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, yeah. I knew those lips from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are your lips done? These. Yeah. <laughs> These? I, not, not your p- uh, <laughs> Unless those are done too. My p- is not done. Okay. My lips, I had filler t- almost two years ago now. So I'd say- I, I no longer claim them being done, but I'd love to get them done again. Wow, they look good. Mm. Thank you. Are your lips done? Yes, they are. Are yeah. yours? Yes. God. But Thanks. same type of thing, but the girls love to be like, I haven't gotten filler in years. I'm like, yeah, it's still there. me either, <laughs> but I know what my lips looked like before <laughs> right. I got it And done. it was not this. No. It was not. My foot is itching. Okay. It's like, how embarrassing. Do you really have to itch right now? It does. What is it? I don't just, you know. Just Psychosomatic? Maybe. Now it's the other foot. No, same foot. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I heard it's some sort of old wise. Is it wise tail or wives tail? What is it? What's the? It's when your right palm, palm is itches. itching. Money's coming in. Oh, okay. okay. Well, guess what? My f- hands never itch. So uh, <laughs> it's just my feet. <laughs> it's money's my going out. Foot. So that must be <laughs> We're leaking money. money. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard when your ear itches, it means someone is talking about you. I've heard that's when it rings too. Ooh, my ear was ringing like crazy yesterday. I feel like I that's was just losing. tinnitus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you might be right. And you might be right. Hmm. Oh, how's y'all's hearing? It's not good. Oh. Oh. It's not good. Were you out of Oh, the, the hearing? Yeah. Your bad hearing. Rock yeah, concert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I um <laughs> I've just blown out my f-ing eardrums with mm. you know, listening emotions. To, with emotions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listening to music too loud. How's your hearing? Mine's pretty pretty strong, but I do have like audio processing issues like if there's music playing and someone's talking i'm like this is oh. it's not getting through it's absolutely not through. the double sound i can't i can't do like yeah. music and, and it pisses it makes me rage talking. too yeah 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 it's not like oh this is fun that i can't hear you i'm like i'm upset at you for trying to talk over this music it's, right now i do f- hate it yeah i do hate it i can't really do music in cars when i'm trying to talk to somebody Mm-mm. oh no Mm-mm. when Mm-mm. anyone is playing any sort of tiktok sound around me already i'm upset but if there's a song playing in the background or if there's a conversation happening and someone and you could can- And the TikTok? <sighs> I have much. no space for that in my life anymore. It's too much. We're also just not supposed to be we're not equipped for it. The human mind is not equipped. We're for supposed all to be listening things. to birds, bro. We're supposed to be listening to f- birds and like all chasing day. lions. That's it. The, the sounds of nature. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's really it. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about being alive at this time, Gabby? Not good. Mm-hmm. Go not on. great about <laughs> being alive. How do you guys feel about being alive? I'm like constantly gaslighting myself and <laughs> being okay with it. Yeah. You know? I'm, yeah. Because, like, yeah. what else do you do? You, yeah. It's like, that, it's, we have to either be okay with it or we kill ourselves. And I'm like, well, that part. It's, <laughs> myself is too much work. It's too much work. <laughs> it is. Too, I, I don't is. need to fail at something else. Like I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It's I, hard. I feel like this, like, monkey version of me has always existed in my head. I've always wanted to be that. Like, oh, I wouldn't be so 
mentally ill if I could just be a monkey. But I finally started to accept that, you know, there there is something special to being alive now, you know? That's a good place to be. Yeah. I think I go in between, like, honestly, the past, like, couple of weeks, I was so good. And I was like, wow, I'm so glad I've never killed myself. I'm so, yeah. things are so good. <laughs> and then literally yesterday, everything changed. And I'm like, okay, I'm depressed again. You're like, my foot stopped, started itching and like, it didn't stop. <laughs> and it didn't stop. And I've just been, like, depressed ever since. And now I'm like, no, I'm back in it. I'm back in the the spin cycle. Yeah, it's so easy to spin into that. Mm -hmm. It is. Sometimes it feels really easy to spin out of it, which I'm trying to tell myself. But mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, like, damn. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's like, wow, I'm so happy I'm still alive. I've met so many people right. that I yeah. love that I wouldn't have met if I terminated. But sometimes it's just like, what am I really doing here? And why mm -hmm. is insurance the biggest reason why I want to die? It is honestly the biggest reason I think why a lot of people want to die. Thank you. It's so bad. And they do that shit on purpose. It's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. And like all I want to do is get therapy. And I'm on Medi-Cal, which is like, you know, free California health insurance. Mm. And you can't get like a good therapist on Medi-Cal. And I'm like, did I just die? Like what? This is, this is so hard. They're like, you can have medications for cheaper. But you can't have help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's the health insurance thing is a nightmare. It's a scam. Yeah. It's a scam. It's fun. I got health insurance and was paying so much money for it. I thought I like got the good plan. I thought I was doing the right things and I was mm -hmm. using it to go to therapy at the time. And this is back in Maine, which I don't know if it's better or worse. Don't care. But it didn't cover anything that I was using it to cover anyway. Oh, good. Right. Good. <laughs> yes. I know. They love to do that. They love to charge you like three, four, five hundred dollars a month for insurance. And then they're like, but just kidding, you still owe one hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, it's it's insane. It's so expensive. Yeah. It's yeah. Necessary. I um I've started to feel like, okay, you know when you're like younger and you're like, oh I'm just going to die. I'm not gonna make it past a certain age. Yes. Now that I've like made it, I made it to 30, <laughs> I feel like I'm reaching some potential. I'm like, oh, this is when it gets like sad if I died. Like it would have been sad before because I was young, but now it's sad because I'm like, I'm I'm starting to make it, you know? This is when it gets really sad. Yeah. Right. How old are you? 30. 30. You're both 30? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How old are you? Too. And looking damn good. Mm. On the old, so on the old in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the old what do you have to teach us young folks <laughs> over here? I don't. You know, the more, the Nothing. older I get, I'll tell you this, the older I get, the less I know about anything. Truly. Really? Where are you I'm from, Gabby? Literally San Diego. And okay. right here. I was mm -hmm. born here. I've been here since 20, 2009. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's been making it. Yeah, so you're used to, like, the amount of people and, like, the chaotic energy and like, yeah, the yeah, yeah. social climbing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This city absolutely exacerbates whatever small amounts of mental illness yes. that you have. Mm -hmm. If you come here with anything, it will put it, it'll blast it. Even just bad habits. Even bad habits, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a tough city. Mm hmm yeah, it's like the amount of people, the amount of money you need to leave here, it like makes everything go to 10, all steroided out. It's truly, Fucking truly money. disturbing. The re like, honestly, I'm like, that's, I had, I started a OnlyFans because I was like, I can't survive mm -hmm. off of, like, I used to work in restaurants. I'm like, well, I'm not going back to that. No. Yeah. I f f off with that. And then, you know, you start an OnlyFans and you make like triple what you would make working in a restaurant in a month. You make it in like three days on OnlyFans, and you're like, "Well, never mind. Guess I'll just do this. Guess I'll just sell pictures of my." Party. Like, yeah. <laughs> and this is where the men get angry. Is this where they get angry? This is where right. they get angry. Yeah. Because they can't. They can't do that. Yeah. They yeah, don't have. Because nobody wants to fucking watch straight guys jack off, except for gay guys, and that's okay. But yeah. But they, the straight guys, don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because like they're actually gay, and they can't. <laughs> <admit> <laughs> that. And that's the psychology, and that's the true psychology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. But so many closeted men. So many. <sighs> and they're extra loud during Pride Month. I've noticed. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that true? When they're too loud, you go, "What are you hiding there, Queen?" Right? What come are you on, hiding, girl. Queen. Yeah, come on, girl. Why are you yelling? Why yeah. are you yelling, sir? Um, on that note, I mean, this just leads perfectly into one of my questions, which is, Please. "What is the scariest thing a man has ever said to you?" Oh my god, the Rolodex is spinning. I know, right? Isn't it? It's I know. I'm pick. like, it's hard to pick. I can go first. Today? I'm happy to go first. Oh, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> I came up with the question, so I have an answer. I have a feeling Please. this is gonna be hard to follow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. The scariest thing a man has ever said to me, I decided today, it was when my dad texted me saying, I miss your warm body. Okay. Oh! <laughs> now that is actually the worst. And I hope it, who did he mean to text? Her. Me. <laughs> oh. It was not a it mistake. It is like that, you know? It was not it a mistake. It is like that. <laughs> it was not a mistake. <laughs> right. Right. I had no, to take I, a break for a few months after that. No, I do hate that. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Mm. I said that's too far. I got to Left on red. Oh, okay. Oh, my body is inverting currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah mine is too. Every part. <laughs> my, my dad accidentally texted me one time oh. saying, oh. hey, bro, <laughs> There's shit all over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> not quite the same, but and it wasn't to me. You said, go on. I uh, <laughs> said, hey, bro, shit? there's shit all over the wall. <laughs> mm? Is it yours, yeah. dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Did you follow up? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you I let said, him, I left him hanging? Yeah. So you can figure out who you meant to text because yeah. it wasn't me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That reminds me of an image I saw on Twitter yesterday. You guys saw that the, the likes are hidden again. Mm -hmm. Likes used to be public on Twitter. Elon has now, he made the likes public and now he's made them private and he's like, oh, he I know rule. what he's doing. Yeah, but everyone's posting these like crazy photos being like, you can like this now. And one of them was like what? a picture of the Hulk like <laughs> propelling himself over a crowd like with diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and that is why Twitter is so good. Right. It's Twitter back, baby. so good. Oh, my God. You brought up Hulk. Perfect. Um, okay. I have a <laughs> Good. Right. I have a, a Kill Mary. Are we doing Kill Mary fuck or Kill Mary dad? Since we're on the topic of dads. Let's go fuck. Okay. Kill Mary fuck Hulk Hogan, Seth Rogen, Joe Rogan. Marrying Seth Rogen. Correct. Correct. Killing Hulk Hogan. Fucking oh. Joe. Oh! Yeah. Go on. Wow. Torn between, though. I'm kind of torn between marrying Joe and Seth because Joe mm. has a pretty interesting wife, but mm -hmm. I don't think I could deal with him. Mm -hmm. He's just a little too... I feel like it would just be a little too competitive. Seth seems... Like he could chill for like the li for life. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. Joe seems like an over explainer. Like you'd like be putting on the turning on the sink. He's like, actually, if you, you uh, use what? your non dominant hand to turn on the sink, then That's the right. water pressures. But like it would just be that. I feel like he would be like checking would, up on yeah. his wife's like biohacking at the end of the day. Like, babe, how many times did you plunge today? <laughs> yeah, like, that's right. It's not your business. It's not your business. How many times I plunge? <laughs> not. It's like I got the private plunge just for you. Okay, well, yeah. Have you ever plunged? <laughs> <laughs> I have not. Plunged. Mm -hmm. I would really like to. Mm -hmm. Have you? We're yes. plungers. Yeah, we're, we're plungers. plungers. We're, we're coming out as being wow, plungers. Wow, you guys are plungers. I'm also, I would say at this point, I think I'm a floater now. I love are you the floater flo oh. the, in the in the in the black pod. room. Mm. Wow, mm -hmm. it's the, not, not the black room. In the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's black once you're in there. The blackout room. The yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes, the blacked I do. room? Yeah. Yes, I do. Love the sensory deprivation because <coughs> there's just too much sensory stuff. There happening. is. So it's nice to take a goddamn break. It's almost like killing yourself in a healthy way for just a little bit. Literally. Your brain does start going a little bit nutty bananas and those things. Mm. But I'm yeah. really interested in the cold plunge. Would you say that you have seen benefits? From it feels it? so good it afterwards feels great. for a long time. It's like. We're talking about Vyvanse. It definitely helps your <laughs> dopamine levels. I would, I would like say. that because yeah. I have very bad dopamine levels. Mm -hmm. But then you, it's like you have to get over the mental hurdle of taking a cold shower. But if you take a cold shower, it will really make your day Hate better. It. Hate yeah. it. Hate it. See, I think I could do a plunge faster than I could do a cold shower because with the cold shower, I have too much control. I can just be like, why am I doing this? And yeah. turn the exactly. heat back yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. With the cold plunge, it's like you know you have to like, yeah. like hunker down into mm -hmm. it. Yeah. A good way to practice. Have you been to the Wii Spa? I in have. In Koreatown? Yeah. Yes. You didn't do the cold? I have done that. Okay. I have done that. I guess I But did. then you run back to the sauna. Yeah. Then you, yeah. 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 <laughs> how long do you how long do you plunge for when you do it? I'm a dunker, personally. Yeah, you oh, like, really? You like to sit. I try to sit. How yeah. long is your longest? The longest, like, five minutes. <gasps> <laughs> That's so long. If you do shrooms, you can do it for a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. That makes sense. Performance enhancing drugs. I don't drugs. know if I want to be doing on mushrooms in Koreatown. You do. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, if there's anywhere that you want to be on shrooms, it's K-Town. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh my god, we went. We were like, we got lost in the fucking the amount of times that we've gotten lost in a oh my god a parking garage. Can you relate? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're they're fucking horrific. It's, I'm in one right now, dissociating this podcast, no, like <laughs> hallucinating <here>. this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we all actually are still in a parking garage. <laughs> None of this is real, and we're all trying to find our cars, and we've been there for 47 years. Uh, sucks. <laughs> oh, we were trying to find our way out of said parking garage, trying to find the restaurant that we were going to. Couldn't find it. It was ridiculous. And the way back was even worse somehow. But we were like, oh, staircase is where we're supposed to go. Something felt weird about the staircase. And you smelled it, something. I and smelled I didn't something. smell it. And I was like, you're crazy. And I then... have quite the nose on me. Okay. And <laughs> I was like, no, no. And now I just, if I smell something, I'm not going closer to it. What did you find out what it was? It was, a, it was a piss and shit castle at the end of <laughs> oh, a, it was a piss and shit castle at the end of a dead end staircase. Oh, good to I nowhere. Like a couple of human bones down there. I do too. It was like a staircase that was a dead end. So it went down a level and then into stopped. the piss and shit castle. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I wonder if it was built specifically for that. <laughs> they built a staircase leading to that directly. It's an art piece. Truly. Yeah, that is how the mayor has decided to <laughs> solve the housing There's crisis. There's always piss and shit castles in fi- <laughs> at the bottom of staircases in parking garages. They're always in K Town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's I right. It's shit. because people get lost in the fucking because they get <laughs> stuck. Forever, mm-hmm. and that's, then, then they all end up just pissing and shitting. What if we <laughs> hydrated the homeless? Okay, at least there'd be a lot more. I support piss. this. There'd be more, mm-hmm. yeah, but less Clearer. dense. That's true. Less like red piss. <laughs> that would be. Have y'all ever peed blood before? No, no. Um, for sure. Mm-hmm. Have you really? Well, I guess when I'm on my period, but like, well, yeah, but that's not. That's I not. I gotta. Uh, during during probably the hoe phase of my life before I was doing sex work, I I fucked a lot of dudes this one particular week. I was feeling a little sad. I was definitely pissing blood by the end really? of that week. In fact, the last man that I fucked before I had to go to the hospital, oh. I looked down as I was about to, uh, you know, his, as his dick was about to go inside me and watched a oh. driblet of of blood and pee fall out of my body involuntarily. Now, was that a result of <laughs> fucking or was it an STD? It was a, it was a UTI. It was a UTI. Oh, so, you know, the, right in between those two. Fucking on a UTI? Fucking on the UTI. That's right. awful. Right. Did, w- did the sex feel good or was it horrific? I don't know if I felt anything. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't about the feeling. I still feel that when I have Dead sex. from the waist down. <laughs> <In general. laughs> You're like, no. is anything happening? <laughs> no. Spiritually, physically, is it ever? No, I don't know. Mm. Well, let's get into this OnlyFans thing. Because I feel like we're having like a same, same, but different, but opposite, but mm. same, same thing happening. We're at different like, points of the rope. Right. Okay. You we're at the end of our rope. Some guy was like, spread your oh. asshole for me for 40 bucks. I was like, first of all, no. <laughs> right. So, I mean, that's only spreading, but $40? Hell no. <laughs> I also don't have a good looking asshole, so I'm not going to embarrass myself like that. Are you sure? Feel that. I have an anal fissure, and it's not great. I don't What's love the fissure? it. If I could show you right it's now, I would, but I just, you know. Is oh, it it's permanent? A rip? Per- semi permanent? Yeah, I'd have to get it like. Tell me more. Okay. I wish I could show you right now. Um, <laughs> it looks- I got $40. <laughs> <laughs> For you? Twelve dollars. <laughs> Twelve. You? We're talking cheap. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you see the fissure for free. Actually, um, it it looks like do you guys not have shit in your buttholes. Hemorrhoids, and I do definitely got shit in there. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, I think hemorrhoids and fissures are the same. Oh, or yours one leads on the another. outside. I have an outside one. Mm-hmm. Now, what does your? Because mine is like it looks. It's like between. It's like in the it gooch. On, okay, yeah, same. Mine's like on the. Oh, we probably have matching fissures. Oh, <laughs> when oh this God. is over, I would literally show you mine. <laughs> yeah, it looks like almost like a deflated tiny cauliflower. That's right. Yes, that's right. And mm-hmm. when it gets activated, when I don't, uh, mm-hmm. when I'm like shitting too hard because yes. I haven't drank enough water, it then turns Inflames. into a big bubble again and bleeds. Wow. So that's why. <laughs> Wins. So that's on my asshole. Yeah. <laughs> so is that what happens to you? Yeah. And you know what? I saw pictures of it anyway. <laughs> okay. And good. they and, love and it. Good. Yeah. And they good. Do. But no, actually, in all honesty, I, I really don't make anal content almost at all anymore. Really be, because of that. Really? Really? Yeah. Mm. And, and it bleeds. Yeah. Sometimes. It's, I, and I also don't love. I know some girls love anal. I do not. I've had anal twice. I do not like it. Oh. I don't like having shit in my asshole. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's just not for me. 
I'm not an anal girl. Mm -hmm. Do you have um, kinks? If I do, I'm new to figuring them out. Um, I I feel like I have a praise kink. And As you should. I know. I think I have a praise kink. And I also think that I'm, I don't know if this is a kink, but I'm definitely submissive. Yeah. So I like, I kind of like, like my boyfriend's like way dominant. I like that. Mm -hmm. But that's like, those are kind of more my, it's pretty vanilla. How long have you been with your boyfriend? Four and a half months. Oh. It's new. It's new. newish. It's new. To me, that would feel old. But, it, you know, I'm like, I'm, we're married now. <laughs> that's what I, I am feeling like. That's that. why I don't have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It's but I'm like now I'm at the point that I'm, I'm starting to get like really scared because mm -hmm. I have such bad like fucking just like attachment, you know, anxiety, women shit. You know, you, yeah. I'm sure we've all been cheated on and treated like shit. And so then things start to get activated and you're like, are they cheating on me? Are they doing these things? Mm. I don't know that. Am I going to, mm -hmm. is the same thing going to happen? That's happened in every relationship. And you mm. start working yourself into a tizzy. So that's where I'm at right now. And then they're like, you know what? You're acting like this. I am going to cheat on you. That's right though. That, and <laughs> I'm, so afraid. I'm so afraid that I'm going to manifest it because I'm just right. like, are you going to leave me? Are you going to leave me? And he's like, relax. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, it sucks because it's yeah. not who you want to be, but mm -hmm. you just start getting fucking kooky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not in therapy. And this is why I need therapy because it's. Mm. We go to free therapy at a 12 step program. Right. What, which one are you in? We go to SLAW. I love, love You do? Okay, I love I, I'm, I'm an AA girl, but I've been in and out of slaw for a long time. Mm -hmm. mm. Not I see an in and out for me as well in my yeah. platform. I've already yeah. been in and out. Right. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're slaw girlies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I get that yeah. entirely. Uh -huh. It's helpful. Sometimes it it's harmful. We like we went to this slaw beach party the other day where you it's called Burning Desires where you like burn Not burning desires right <laughs> the fire. So many. I truly kids. can't with twelve step programs. <laughs> so it's like we gotta. They love puns, but yeah, we like burned the things we you know wanted to let go of, and it worked on a very deep psycho spiritual level for me to the point where it's like I burned my fantasizing. That's like my biggest issue, I would mm. say. And then it worked, and now I'm like. Like the addict part of me is so rageful that the fantasy is not working anymore. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I yeah, miss yeah, yeah. yeah, I miss the other world that I used to live in that wasn't yeah. the real world. Maybe so. because you get addicted to living in fantasy yes. or yes. you know, it's 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 really interesting. It's was it um all women or was it co ed? It was co ed, but the men are mostly effeminate and annoying, so Yeah. <laughs> when I go to slaw meetings with men, I'm like, can you guys like, shut the, shut fuck, the fuck up. It's a very different vibe. The East Side <laughs> yeah. meetings are the effeminate, like, <laughs> yeah. flimsy boys. Yeah, and on Susie the West came side, with me to a meeting last night. Interesting. It's the convicts. Do you, are you, <laughs> is that the only 12 step you're in? Yeah, um, you've been to AA. I've been to AA a couple times, yeah. Didn't feel comfortable sharing, didn't feel comfortable saying, like, hi, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And the one thing that you need in order to go there is a desire to stop drinking, which I, personally don't have. No, okay, so you don't. I, have, I, have, a, <laughs> I have a desire okay, so. to like improve. Okay. I have a, I have a Do you think you are, are you an alcoholic or no? You just were like, I need to figure it out and I'll try some meetings. Mm, I'm having a, I, I have a hard time with that label. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm a sex addict. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think you're an alcoholic. I don't. Full think blown. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that I enjoy alcohol. I think that I would like to improve my relationship with it, which I feel like I have been doing throughout life, mm -hmm. you know. My drug of choice, if I had to choose one, is weed. That's the one I have the most problems with. And it's so oh, wow, related so with, like, the sex and love thing that I'm like, it's really the sex and love thing first. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I, 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 I hate fucking, I cannot stand weed, but I'm the same way with alcohol yes. and, like, sloth. Yes. So it goes hand in hand for me. It's like when I'm drinking, then I'm, like, doing mm -hmm. all this like chaotic relationship stuff but then mm -hmm. if I'm like not getting help with saw stuff it starts like activating my like alcoholism it's just like it's a hamster wheel yeah of, yeah mm -hmm. confusion but I think if you can like improve your relationship with alcohol you don't need to fucking go to, yeah you're not like for me I'm like I just ruin yeah I ruin my life What's interesting about slaw is like the sobriety is different for every person yeah and like mm -hmm. yesterday we were at this meeting this man who I know from the west side meetings He's not listening. Say his uh, first and last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <his> anonymity. <laughs> I love that. Love he that. was celebrating two years being sober. 
And I was just like AA sober or like slaw sober. Slaw sober. Mm. And it's like the whole thing. No one is like announcing. You don't have to an AA. Everyone knows what you're sober from. But in slaw, it could be from sober from cheating on your wife, or it could porn. be so, or porn, or it could be mm-hmm. sober from like stalking your sister's Instagram or like whatever. There's a lot <laughs> yeah. of weird things going. We're literally on. from like sober from your daughter's or, warm body. Right. Yeah, we are oh. sober from your daughter's warm body. <laughs> he's not sober from. <laughs> no, no he's, he's, addicted. He's, he's addicted. He's addicted to that warm body. He's subscribed. Yeah. Well, what? what? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm. oh, I just have to be like, okay, go on, girl. <laughs> I'm rinsing my father on only Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? I do, that did make me think of like. I, mm. I've heard stories. I have heard yeah. actual stories, which is a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would. Um, I feel like most people, somebody has sent the naked material to family members yeah most people that i know so I'm, I'm saying like that might happen yeah it's happened to me has it happened to you no oh well you're one of the few i think most girls like get their porn sent to their families good i love that right isn't that so good it's so good people it's always out of time. concern to Humbling. like what yeah. you're doing is concerning literally right literally <laughs> it's also why i'll never fucking share my boyfriend's Instagram handle. I you're going to say dick. I was like, say that. (laughs) Keep that shit to yourself. And that one's for me. No, but I'll never show, (laughs) I'll never share his shit on my profile because like people are fucking nuts. People are so nuts. I'm like afraid of like who would reach out or send Mm -hmm. him. So like, Mm -hmm. I'm just like, no, he doesn't Mm -hmm. need to be involved. And you're already hot and you're already a female comic. So I'm sure you got some haters out there. Oh girl, every day, every fucking day, my Instagram goes in between being I keep getting the notifications that's like I'm shadow banned. So people are like re- reporting my account constantly. Yes. It's a fucking nightmare. I'm like, can you just let a girl get her bag? Yeah. They that, can't. Anyway. That will not end. It doesn't end. No. It'll get worse. Yeah. Do you, do, did you come up doing open mics? Is that how you like? I sure did. And I used to do them at the coffee shop that was it's right next door to this studio. And I walked in there and I was like, whoa. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, time. No see. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Were men? psychotic to you at the open mics ever no but i was oh, not that's nice cute back then i wasn't uh, no they weren't psychotic to me they're psychotic to me now online mm. but i didn't i didn't have like people at like comics being psychotic have you experienced cool. that because you guys do stand up right yes we we've we started this year and okay oh you just started yeah i i just started i think Susie's done it before like a couple of a couple of times in Maine before doing sex. Okay. Well, not before doing yeah. sex work, but whatever. And I'm a, I've, I've done improv for a long time, but never stand up till this year. But yeah, the the boys clubs kind of open mics are something <laughs> else. Are you doing mics out here? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we went to one and like, they just love talking about dismembering women on stage. It is their jam and their dope. Open mic men are worse. They're, they're like the people... Mm that troll you online for real. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. Like, they, and a lot of them, a lot of open mic comedians are not people that actually ever go on to actually pursue comedy. They sure aren't. They are. Because they're not <laughs> fucking funny. Because they're not funny and they also can't make it. They like, they they can't. But uh, that's- So what, maybe that's why they feel so protective over their open mic, yeah, you know? It is, mm-hmm. yeah. Because like actually great comedians, like male comedians, aren't the ones that stay at the open mic level and like troll the fuck out of women. They That's just true. say that they that don't, you know, like Shane Gillis isn't like you, they they're just you see the fucking bottom feeders stay at the bottom because they don't have what it takes to like actually commit to becoming mm. a great stand up. I, I actually had somebody send me on OnlyFans because I some, I'll post my sets sometimes because I'm like, this is I would never post this publicly. But if you guys want to watch me working on material, here you go. Ooh, Ooh. that's so good. Yeah. I, so I posted a set the other day and this guy sent me uh he was like can i give you some ideas of like how you could turn these in like into other jokes and i was like go ahead tip me five dollars and then proceed it it was legitimately horrifying oh my god it was it was so scary and like wildly unfunny and i was like (laughs) i I was like this is what like open mic men think they like Mm -hmm. they see this and they're like i know a way to make her comedy even better (laughs) and it's like scary misogynistic like he was like yeah and you want to talk about your cum dump pussy i thought and if you if i had a pussy and i was like you're like i already do that bitch yeah it was wild (laughs) already have a pussy bitch yeah 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 it was 
I, I like I like I don't want to read it right now, but I'm like maybe I shouldn't in, in the event. But like it was <laughs> kind of horrifying. I was like, this is really what men think is funny when they're not funny. Yes, and then is. they're like, this is how women should talk. Right. right. And actually, funny men don't do that. But then also, if you were to do that, everyone would hate it. They're like, it was talking so about queefing's not funny. When will these girls learn? It's like, actually, queefs have always and will always be funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Inherently. And, it's like, it's when men, it, they like are trying to write from the narrative of what they think women, women should talk like if they're going to do comedy. Like, I, and they're not even like he's not even a comedian. He's just like some guy that follows me on OnlyFans. And I was oh. like, whoa, oh. what is happening? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we both have been in <laughs> the majority of our relationships have been open or polyamorous Crazy. in some way. I was talking about this with my boyfriend this morning, and he was like, I hate it. And I was like, I hate thank, it. Too. Thank God. You. Really? <laughs> it is bad. Is it? It's it's gotta be. It's bad. Unless if you are artistic, you're allowed. <laughs> Did you say artistic or autistic? Autistic. autistic. Got it. If you're artistic, please don't. Yeah, if yeah. you're... <laughs> yeah. I mean, because you could have said either and I would have been like, okay. Mm. Right. <laughs> and not like TikTok autistic, like... Like real... Like love on Real the autism. autism. <laughs> yes. Real autism. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you, yeah, are plagued by that and then, yeah, Gifted by that. Exactly, dude. <laughs> Thank there you is, so yeah. much. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, if <laughs> the you, word escaped her. <laughs> yeah. If you are gifted by severe autism and you have multiple partners, that just simply makes sense. And I feel like it works for those people. Yeah. But now, why now why were you guys in poly relationships and why is it so bad? Such a good question. Um, emotional availability has repulsed me for most of my life. Yeah. But now I'm it. grown and so I'm single. Oh, and that's and that's like <laughs> that's small work too. <laughs> What'd you say? That's slaw work too, you know? Yeah. The emotional, the emotional availability stuff. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like, I did the thing that men do, which I only recently realized where it's like, oh, my wife, AKA like my main partner, it's like desexualized to me. I'm like, you are where mm -hmm. I receive love right. and mm -hmm. commitment and attachment. Right. And then I get sex outside of that. From right. yeah, like, people that I hate. <laughs> right. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. And who will never want to be with me. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I hated saying that out loud. Anyway. Uh, you know what? We're only as sick as our secrets. So. A fucking man. <laughs> I love that. My first relationship was like long as fuck, all throughout high school, promise ring involved. Wow. And he was like very possessive and controlling. And then I came out with my sexuality. And then I feel like every relationship I was in after that, they were like, it was like open for me to be with women, but not with men. Where is he now? In the hometown. Scott, he's still in Portland, Maine. In New Hampshire, New small Hampshire. town there, dating some other girl from our high school. Got they it. all, Gorgeous. it's it's incestuous in that way. Okay. And then, yeah, so I was like open when it was long distance and I could be with girls or whatever. So that was like kind of my segue into fully like open polyamorous relationships. Okay. I would say my last one was the uh, the most open. What does that mean? Really, anything. The closest anything to cheating go. of all of them. <laughs> also, just cheating. It's well. just cheating. So, there's a difference between open and poly, right? Like, poly is like you bring people into the relationship, and open just means you can go fuck whoever you want, and it just kind of is what it is. Yeah, and I feel like poly has that vibe of like, oh, we're, I'm fully dating multiple people. Because, mm -hmm. like, I have different needs that different people have to meet through partnerships. Kill like, me. What? Kill yeah. me. Kill me. Kill what? me. I'm I sorry, get it. But that is selfish. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And I get, here's the thing, like, I get that, like, one primary partner cannot meet all of your needs. Like, But why not, should they? Why should but why they? should they? But, th like, it's also why you decide to, like, commit to a relationship with, like, working on that with somebody and, like, right. I don't know. It's, I, I get that one person, like, can't be the end all, be all in terms of, yeah, meeting your needs. But, like, mm -hmm. I don't want to have, like. That's why you have friends, bitch. That's why you have why friends. Why do you need another you boyfriend to do life. that? You think right. another boyfriend's going to meet your needs? He's not. No, he's going to make no. things worse and more complicated and scary. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, if it's, I don't know. I wonder if it's different for me. My boyfriend is very, like, this morning he was like, are you trying to convince me to be in a poly relationship? And I was like, no. I would never do that to N you, sir. <laughs> never. <laughs> I don't ever, no. No. Also, I'm too prone to BV and yeast infections, and I feel like fucking a bunch of people at the same time, like, Danger zone. Danger zone. Any, any, everything throws off my pH. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's something that I experienced a lot. It's like. Really? Oh. And it, like the only boundary was really like we're just going to tell each other like before or after it didn't really matter. Oh. 
And oh, okay. and then genius that genius idea. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> Only I was doing that. My Catholic ass. And he's like, I was gonna tell you in a year. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you too, didn't ask. So why would, I, why would I tell you? It's like I did ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. And it's really for like, you know, safety reasons. Like I need to know how many right. how many people I'm sharing this penetrator with. Ew. Yeah. It's because it fucks up your reproductive system. Yeah. Literally. Like it's so bad. And your spiritual system. Absolutely. It's too much energy. Taking in all that fucking energy is... <sighs> I cannot... I can't say that, like, when I was in my most promiscuous phase of life that I felt good. It... Mm. And I don't know if it's different for men and women, but I would... I didn't feel good when I was, like, fucking a lot of people. It was, like... It's, like... Draining. I felt high. Yeah. I Yeah. You, you know? You, you do. You feel high and, like, excited for a second, but then it's, like, draining. Mm -hmm. I look back on, like, all of the people I slept with and I'm, like, I didn't need to sleep with... 99% right people. that yeah. fucking part I look back yeah. at pictures of myself when I was sleeping with a lot of people I'm like I look physically drained I look deflated yeah <laughs> I swear to god it's like that like vampire energy shit. yes mm -hmm. people do drain you I know mm -hmm. I feel like men online used to always comment when I was like doing more porn like oh you can you can tell her like eyes are like glazed over and I was like oh fuck all of you that's okay, not that's true so and now looking back I'm like <laughs> were the incels right <laughs> <laughs> they do be making some points <laughs> does it does doing porn Porn drain you? Yes. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> in every it, the people that you're way. fucking yeah. are not okay. Not okay. Or the people in the industry, I I don't think. Yeah. You know, it's not ideal. Yeah. And like, wow, yeah. I think a lot of people don't think about that energy exchange. They're like, it's just sex, and it's like, it's never just. It's sex. It's not just sex. No, it's it's not. really not. Um, mm -hmm. and I've tried to like gaslight myself into that a thousand mm -hmm. times too, where I'm like, and then I'm making a big deal, and like. Also, like, probably semi-recently I was doing that. But, like, now I'm just, like, it's too... It's not just sex. It never is. I've had enough sex, truly, at this point in my life that I'm good. I'm really right. good. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You're like, I know what happens. I Literally. It's like, when I come, uh, yes. I get it. Like, yeah. the thing that to me that's, like... <laughs> mm, uh, yummy. And I think, like, the <laughs> best thing, honestly, yummy. is, like, just being, like, physically comforted by somebody. Like, just, like, laying Huge. with somebody is far more Huge. intimate to me than sex and feels better. Yeah, way more valuable, way more intimate, for sure. Yeah. I mean, and sex for is sure. fun, like, if you're in a relationship with somebody you, like, love having sex with, but, like, it's, like, yeah, yeah. you know what happens. Mm -hmm. I really don't. It's been so long at this point. I'm, like, I don't, I barely remember. The last one didn't count. <laughs> wow. Couldn't feel nothing. Couldn't feel <laughs> oh, yeah, I got pranked by the universe. Yeah. I tried the slaw thing where you don't fuck until you're committed. Yeah. Didn't work for me very Big good. mistake. Big mistake. Really, so you did Actually, tiny mistake. <laughs> tiny little mistake. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Whoa. Yes, really. So I'm still <laughs> learning. I'm still learning a lot. Wow. <laughs> that was the last time you had sex? Yes. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Guys, I'm going to spiral after this. Mm. I'm back. <laughs> no. wow. I'm out of slaw. <laughs> right, downloading Hinge mentally right now. Yeah, good, yeah. Uh, yeah, the spiral after the slaw D, the, the spiral after the small D was basically like texting my big D ex being like, could I feel the girth? And he was like, I have a girlfriend now. And I was like, could mm. I feel the girth is crazy. Yeah, that is a mm. wild text to send. <laughs> I agree. He said, I have Trying to wash right this now. pussy out. With yeah. The new one. God. Okay. It is unfortunate <laughs> too. I I do hate the like the size thing of being like it matters, but like it kind of. It's not the be all end all, but no. it it the small dick wasn't the only issue. It was just the first right. realization. Uh, re yeah, it kind of yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it opened up the box of oh. I yeah, haven't been with many small dicked man men, but the ones I have been with like. They're not the horniest, you know? Right. The low testosterone underlies a lot of, yeah. I don't know. One of my exes had, exes had a pretty small dick, and he had very low. Like feral. Yeah. He had, like, not a big sex drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Damn. You would think that maybe, like, they would be overcompensating and be extra. You would hope. Some of them are. Yeah. Of course. But. I had an ex with huge balls. Oh. That, he was. <laughs> actually too horny I was like can we not have this big of balls and be that horny all the time he's just humping your leg he's like I gotta get this out uh, yeah like, <laughs> truly and those balls were too big were they swinging 
swinging and swanging. Uh, kind of. I, were they, they kind of firm? They, they were like low? Firm. They like too low. full. They were like high up oh, and just They big. were too big. They weren't have, swinging big. Have you guys seen when the, the balls go back into the body? Mm-hmm. No. It, okay. Next time you're having sex with your man, like. It, <laughs> Make him do the party trick. <laughs> no, it happens involuntarily. I swear like Someone during do sex. It. Like before they're going to come, the balls go closer to the body mm -hmm. and sometimes they get sucked back in and then they pop them out like little grapes. Ew. Dude, I fucked a, I fucked a dude who could do it voluntarily. Oh. He could like suck them up inside. Like a, like a, yeah, his party trick. Yeah. That's crazy. Wouldn't it be cool if we could do that with our labios? Um, I can kind of, well, I just tuck them away sometimes. Wow. Where are you on that, on the spectrum? On the big labia spectrum? Mm -hmm. Can't really tuck. Can't, Can't tuck them. Can't really tuck too big. Too big. Too big to tuck. Oh my God. Tuck. I, I don't love. If don't someone love. goes in dry, do your labia go, go in. inside? Yes. They can. They that can. is amazing to me. Yeah, it's not great. You don't like it? No. You don't ever like it? No, I don't like a dry labia. <laughs> I don't like a dry labia tuck. It's not. It's not <laughs> a feel feeling. Yeah. Sometimes I like it, but in the way of like that Alex Jones likes teeth on his dick right because he had to like it eventually because his dick is so giant it's like Be sometimes so yours could i wonder if that's true what his dick is so giant oh yeah so oh, yours yours He's come out a bit you don't have a slit pussy no okay yeah do you have a slip pussy I ha I'm sorry. I have a slip pussy. I've been. I. I she's, she's broken me down. No, I'm so sorry. I actually. I apologize profusely. I've been slit shaming her like, for years. For, really? for years, and it's gotten Why progressively do you worse. Slit shame because you want the slit pussy. No, not because I want it. I mean, I think it's because people shame big pussy. People they do. Shame. Yes, we are. We are not. Mm -hmm. You're not represented for, in porn either enough, you know? It is very true. Yeah, a lot of girls in porn get them cut off. Why do they snip, do that? Snip, snip, I always feel a lot better when I do see women in porn that have, like, me too. labias because I'm like, thank God. But, yeah, it's... It, they, I think it's like... Don't. I think it's a little girl thing, but I think that porn in some ways is, is coming out of that trend in a lot of ways. I think big oh. pussies are going to... A friend of mine said, if you only love slits, like, complete slit then you're a pedophile. And if you right. only like huge labias, then you're gay. And I was like, that's, so that's fucking genius. <laughs> that's so funny. That's funny. That's they like need something to suck on. Because sometimes they, they be oh. sucking down there. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. It won't work. <laughs> they're like choking on it. Yeah. They're like, okay, Deep throating the lip. that big. Relax. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you've got the slip pussy, which is like I'm so jealous of. I mean, you know, it gets the job done, I guess. Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> I guess it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Can I ask a question about tits? Please do. Do you guys have your tits done? One of us does. <laughs> you know. Oh, I actually just got invited back to this uh, YouTube channel, Jubilee, to be on one of their plastic surgery episodes. Oh, like for guess, you. Who's... guess who has the plastic surgery? Oh my God, that's cool. I'm excited. Do you like having fake tits? Girl, I, I love having fake tits. Really? Love. Oh, fuck. I know. Because I go Everyone loves it. with like, really? It's like a 95% like happiness with the surgery rate. Wow. Yeah. How did you get them done? Nipples? I, they, so interestingly, I didn't even realize he was going to do this. I got them done a week after I ordered them basically. <laughs> But he cut just the, un this is how big my nipple is, by the way. He cut just like the <laughs> underside of the nipple. Okay. So like the scar, it, can you see it? No. I mean, I can barely see it. Yeah. Still have hella sensation. And what was I going to say? Um, yeah, they, they, they basically like fill them up when they come inside now. So they like can make like even smaller incisions than they used to be able to. Like it's just, it's advanced, dude. It's like it a was drive so done. What'd you say? When'd you get them done? I got them done last January, so like a year and a half ago. Really recently? Yes. What size were you before? I was like a 34 C D. Yeah, you were but I'm very tall and thick. You, you know? I didn't need fake tits. I didn't need fake tits. Okay. I didn't need them. I they did it for you. porn. They needed me. I love them. Yeah. I made a lot of money because of them and weirdly started to exit porn because of them. Really? Which I wasn't expecting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, dude, because I always go back and forth because I've Literally, like, I have, like, a 32 double A. <gasps> My so, dream. Ride those out for a while. Yeah. I don't know, though, because I'm, like, I I, I, I kind of want fucking tits. You would look great with fake tits. I feel like they they match your vibe, you know? I, they, I, I would think so. I'm also terrified of surgery. Um, it's scary. It is mm -hmm. scary. I had a blast, but it's scary, and I, I get yeah. that. <laughs> Did you, have you, because I know I've seen on TikTok with, like, women being, like, I got the, that, like. The gummies? Breast, no, the oh. breast, uh. Fucking 
the sickness. Oh, oh, yep. And I have had no issues with that. Yeah. Really. But some people it comes like it can like hit them later or like just something kind of lingering for a while. Then they like realize that that was the issue. Yeah. I feel like that would happen to me. It would literally happen to me. I would get and I bet if I got mine done, they would botch them. And then I'd have like I'm so afraid of that too. I'm like they'd botch my tits. It, mm -hmm. That would just be my luck. It's also harder like for girls with smaller boobs mm -hmm. to get a boob job for obvious reasons like there's less it's harder to, to take stretch. for your body I have yeah. literally such a small I have such a fucking small frame that I'm also afraid so that teeny. like they teeny. would look fake too stretched you know mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I don't have enough skin so it would be like tight neat. yeah too tight looking. yeah mm -hmm. think about it you know yeah how so much did yours know. cost they were like 20 grand oh they were expensive yeah oh wow they were okay. expensive <laughs> you're so lucky <laughs> I like them. Yeah. But tiny tits are a vibe. I yeah. will say they're that till I die. They're a vibe. They're fine. But I would like to have some titty. juicy tits. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have juicy tits. Mm. Mine used to be big. Lost a lot of weight when I got to LA. Had to fluff them back up. So that it was the, you know, it was an yeah. easy. Inflate those decision. tires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was a good candidate. I love girls with small tits. It's always like the girls that I'm attracted to. Really? Yeah. It's kind of my type. <laughs> I just like nipples. Yeah. I don't care how much mm. adipose tissues underneath them. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I yeah. I always I like I hope that my boyfriend likes small tits. He's always like I do, and I'm like, but you're lying because everybody likes big tits. <laughs> That's not true. Everybody. So wants. many men love tiny tits. Yes, especially with some ass. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, big tits is where it's at for sure. <laughs> I can't watch porn where the women have my body type. I cannot do it. Oh, I do you get too internal? Yeah, I just don't like. I like would rather watch porn where the girls have fat asses and fat titties. I can't watch porn when they're like little skinny small titty girls like I can't do it mm. it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen for me it's often gangbangs too I'm just gonna say it with the skinniest girls yeah <sighs> they hate us <laughs> they want, like let's they see us break this fucking girl <laughs> she's got no tits we hate her <laughs> let's all just fuck her to death if she's alive at the end maybe we'll pay her day fee yeah yeah maybe <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. That's real. I've had like four different nightmares about having to do porn again in the last couple of weeks. And you really don't want to. No. I can't believe how <laughs> fast this went by. I know. Gabby, do you have anything you need to get off your chest? Anything you want the people to know? Let them know where to find you. Oh wait, fuck. We need to ask her our questions. Please. I'm sorry. We cannot. Okay, good. What's the most forbidden sex you've ever had? Forbidden? Yes. Take it as you will. Taboo. Wrong. Forbidden sex. Mm, when I was hmm, in a relationship and I was lying to the guy that I was dating about th this is like a cheating thing I was like telling what, the guy that I was dating that I was hanging out with my friend at an AA meeting I was in Ooh. fact not I was fucking this guy and technically we were at an AA meeting but it was on Zoom uh, and we were having sex <laughs> With the AA meeting, with the cameras off. And then we went to a slaw meeting and drank a beer. And isn't that right? So I guess that's like technically like the most forbidden and kind of. Oh, that's a winner. That's yeah. A, that was a nasty one. <laughs> yeah. And then being like calling him afterwards and being like, hey, we're just leaving the meeting. <laughs> technically not lying. Technically not a lie. <laughs> technically the truth. And now especially that you are you know, busting it open on the internet, how do you feel about being online forever? You could take that with like old comedy clips wise or the nudes now, any. So how do I feel that my content's always gonna be yeah. there? And like outlive you probably. Honestly, hmm, some of it good, but also it's like, I look back at a lot of, it's like, you know when you read an old diary and you're like, oh thank God this is only in my diary. <laughs> now I have a lot of yes. content online that one day I'm gonna be like wow I wish I never posted this who was that bitch that posted that yeah literally it wasn't me because <laughs> I know that there's gonna be a lot of content I think about that mm -hmm. even with my OnlyFans I'm like am I gonna regret having sent these things out to people you know what I don't regret hmm. making a lot of fucking money yeah and I also don't regret that I I'm sorry but it was worth it Mm -hmm. Good. And that's honestly good. Mm -hmm. That's where it should be. But yeah. yeah. How do I feel about it being meh? So it's like, it's already out <laughs> there. You just got to detach once you post it. Like, yeah. <laughs> that well, part. Yeah. yeah it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's honestly kind of Buddhist. You just detach. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a Buddhist. Right. Yeah. Because like the whole selling your body thing. It's like, no. 
my body is not in these digital JPEG images. It's right here. And I am in my body that's right true. now. That's what I tell myself. That's true. And that's so Eckhart Tolle of you. Wow. Yeah. Y'all enjoy those two-dimensional versions of me, though. Yeah. yeah have, have fun, fun with those. Have fun. Have fun. Because guess what? The real me, right here, right you now. You could never handle him. I'm actually fifth-dimensional. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So please, you know, take your time. Take tell your him, time. Tell him what you want him to know. Mm -hmm. okay. your, maybe your Instagram. My Instagram, <laughs> Gabby Lamby, G-A-B-B-Y-L-A-M-B-Y. If you want to subscribe to me on OnlyFans, please do it. I'll, I'll send you stuff. <laughs> if you're nice, Gabby Lammy. She's hot and funny at the same time. How can you not subscribe? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's hard to comprehend. Thank you. This is such so a good much. episode. Oh my God. I'm so it. glad. Okay. Yay. Cute. Yeah, yes, no, cute. I loved it. Cute, One cute, of cute. My Thanks for having me. Season, for sure. Yay. Are you sure you want to post that?